You are all welcome to Sri Lanka Sports TV. Today we will do a cricket data analysis of the impact of the Indian Premier League on Winindu Hasaranga. Wanindu Hasaranga has been at the top of his game, continuing to scalp wickets in the middle overs, and significantly influencing the fortunes of games for RCB. His 21 wickets in the current edition of the tournament are the most for RCB, and the second most in the IPL this season, just two behind Yuzvendra Chahal. The coaches discussed the Lankan wrist spinner extensively in the most recent episode of the RCB Bold Diaries. Sridhar and Sriram, RCB's batting and spin bowling coach, discussed how things line up for Wanindu ahead of each game, from his preparations to his ever-changing strategies. What exactly are the changes that have brought the Lankan spinner so much success? What we have done with him is that run-up has been very up and down. We have just fixed his run-up. The speed at which he runs is very much the same now. He is no longer fast in patches, and neither is he lacking it too. The speed at which he is running, the angles that he is covering, from where he delivers the ball, the wrong uns, we are still trying to experiment and get him to deliver better. Little tweaks here and there but at the end of the day, he is delivering the results, revealed Sriram. Sriram also discussed the noticeable differences in Hasaronga's bowling from the start of the tournament to the present. The manner in which he began his run-up would be different. He would be running at a different speed. The point at which he delivers the ball into the crease is very close to the stumps. He's now in the middle of the box, which is completely different. His strategy for a left-handed pitcher is entirely different. His numbers to left-handers have increased significantly from the start of the season to the present, owing to conscious efforts, Sriram explained. This table shows you Winindu Hasaronga's performance in the first eight matches of the Indian Premier League this season. The number of runs scored by him shows that he was hit hard by the batsman in the first few matches but he bowled brilliantly against Kolkata and took four wickets for 20 runs. It is also noteworthy that his bowling economy was not good in the first few matches. Since then, there has been a noticeable change in the last eight matches he has played so far. That was after some changes were made to his bowling posture and technique by the bowling coach of the RCB team. He plays with more control in his overs than before and has taken more wickets and dot balls in those eight matches and his bowling economy is at a somewhat better level than before. His bowling data in the pre- and post-match comparison can be seen below. In the first eight matches, he has given away 222 runs in 26 overs and taken 11 wickets with a bowling economy of 8.538. However, he has taken 15 wickets in 31 overs, conceding only 208 runs in the next eight matches. That's keeping his bowling economy at 
the bowling average and the bowling economy can be identified from these charts that have taken place. He also bowled 156 balls in the first eight matches, where he bowled 67 balls but hit 13 fours and 17 sixes in those 26 overs. In the next eight matches, he has bowled 186 balls, conceding just eight fours and 13 sixes with 76 dot balls. From this analysis of the data, it is clear that RCB is showing significant improvement in his bowling due to the changes made by the coaching staff. Subscribe us to find out about cricket data like this, analyze that data, and get the latest news. See you again.